So I, I think the the first part is just reaching out to your network. It has never feel for me. Like when I reach out to people, they always somehow I always find uh, a lead or a client that I can work with. And that's how I build up my portfolio. The other thing is, if you wanna take a more sure route, is that you find a job that allows you to type a lot of things. So I think it's two two ways. It's either you do it with DIY. Or if you're, if the long game is for you to be able to freelance independently, maybe you should you, you become more picky or more strategic with what jobs you take now, so that you can build up your portfolio in that job. Don't be shy about putting in your college papers or something you wrote in the online magazine of your of your university. Every piece of writing counts. If you have absolutely nothing at all, <laughs> write about what you're passionate about, whatever that is. Because at least that way, you're starting with a subject, a topic that you already like. In my experience, it's easier mm -hmm. if you like what you're writing about. And just go from there. 